days in a month can a woman get pregnant? I'm high, and you gonna ask me some stuff like that? Welcome to another episode of Roe v. Bros, the game show where we find out how much men know about women's bodies. All right, and what was your name? My name is Ollie, and I think I know a lot about women's bodies. All right, we'll see. How many days in a month can a woman get pregnant? I, I don't know the answer. I'm gonna go with at least 20. Uh, let's see, so a week of their period, so three weeks? Every day, I don't know. Every don't day. Know. Can you really get pregnant for three weeks of every month? Once again, I think many men have been screwed over by our lack of real biology lessons in school teaching us how our bodies actually work. But here is what you do need to know. Despite the myths, you can't get pregnant every day of your cycle. There is a short fertile window and here is how it works. Ovulation usually happens once a month, around day 14 in a 28 day cycle. The egg can only survive for 12 to 24 hours, but sperm can live in your body for up to five days. So that means you actually have about five to six days every month where you can get pregnant. Because in the first few days before ovulation, if sperm is released and then it can hang around for four or five days, it may be there in order to fertilize the egg. So we say a few days before ovulation and the day of, and that's why timing matters, especially if you're trying to conceive or trying to avoid a pregnancy. There are tools like period tracking apps, ovulation strips, or checking your cervical mucus that can help. But remember, cycles vary and tracking your cycles isn't foolproof contraception. But above all, my takeaway from this video is actually you should involve your male partners in this process. Get him involved to understand your cycle. It's important for when you're trying to conceive, but it's also good general knowledge for them too. So share this with someone who still thinks you can get pregnant on any day of the month.